ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is a progressive disease that attacks muscle, eventually ending in paralysis. There is currently no cure, but thanks to a new breakthrough at Western University, that could change. Led by Michael Strong, the team of researchers discovered a protein which changes and reduces damage to nerve cells. According to the ALS Society, there are around 3,000 Canadians over the age, or I should say 4,000 Canadians over the age of 18 living with ALS. So how could this scientific breakthrough really help? For more, we are joined by the Arthur J. Hudson Chair in ALS Research at Western's Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, professor and scientist, Michael Strong. Welcome to the show. Morning, thanks for having me. So tell us about this breakthrough and how the new protein works. So it's uh, the, you know, the most common thing that we see when we look uh, in the motor neurons of somebody who's passed away from ALS. So the motor neurons are the cells from the spinal cord that get out to the muscle. It's the muscle that pays the price when those nerves don't work. So we see this almost like a train wreck of materials sitting within these cells. Uh, and it's composed of one particular protein in predominance. What we found is, the, is the, almost a partner protein to that, which seems to balance off the, the toxicity so that when we create a model where we get the pathology and then treat it uh, with this other protein, the aggregates, the train wreck is still there, but it doesn't seem to affect the cell at all. And, and we get um, normal motor function uh, or we get significant mitigation of the disease process. It's really incredible. You wanna take this trial to in three to five years, right? Why is ALS such a difficult disease to work on? It's, it's been a really challenging disease because it's not a single disease entity. It has multiple different origins. So, so for instance, a, a proportion of patients will have a genetic risk factor for this. Others will have genes which uh, modify how the disease actually presents for it. Um, but the common thing is that underneath it all seems to be this one common pathway. Mm -hmm. And that's been the discovery, not by us, but by many across the world. Um, so understanding that simplified it, but up until then, it was incredibly challenging. This is an international project, including teams in Canada, the US, Italy, more other countries as well. This breakthrough has been, what, more than 15 years in the making? What has been Canada's role in this? So Canadian investigators, you know, we, we tend to be really quiet about what we've done. Um, but Canada has really played quite a lead role in ALS uh, research, particularly these types of cellular changes that can occur in these, uh, in these groups of cells. And so when you think about work that's come out of Laval or Montreal or UBC or otherwise, or research across this country has really paved the way to understanding how these changes can be toxic to a cell. And so our work builds on that of others across the country. Uh, we tend to be rather quiet about it, but Canada has really been a leader in the world in this kind of research. It really is incredible. You've spoken about making this your life's work and your passion for working mm. with the ALS community. What does this breakthrough mean to you as a scientist? Well, it's both as a scientist as well as a clinician. You know, it means I can sit down with my patients and, you know, as we've done for, or I've done for maybe 30 years, um, you know, be able to say, look, we're working on this. We're trying to understand it. We think we know the direction that we're going in. The conversation now is, is, is all of that plus, I think we can now see the horizon. I think we know what we're headed mm -hmm. for now. Um, and that makes all the difference in the world. It, it may not help the person who's got it today, right? Um, but it will help those coming down the path. I was going to ask you about that. Somebody watching right now, living with ALS, thinking, could this help me? So this is still a couple years away, you think? It still is, um, you know, a good three to five with a lot of hurdles in front of us. Mm -hmm. And I've been around long enough to see that these kinds of models, um, and this is probably one of, the, one of the best series of results I've seen from any of the work uh, done, you can still stumble on a hurdle. It, it may not work later on or maybe too toxic later on. So we've got all of that to go through. Um, but boy, it's nice to have that to go through, to be, to be honest. Absolutely. Congratulations to you and your team, Professor Strong. Thanks for being here today. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.